Swissies in Switzerland lovers. I promised you to show another Christmas market and this Christmas market is in my hometown Brienz. Let's go. As you can see, it is totally not winterly. <laughs> yeah, nature has other plans. Normally, real cold winter is in January or February. Yeah, that's the, the two coldest months in Switzerland. As you can see, some houses are already decorated with Christmas things. Yeah, some lantern and some candles. Some stars. Yeah, these houses are always very nice decorated. Also on Easter and Christmas and New Year. Yeah. It would be. It is a little bit different than in Lauterbrunnen. They close the road during the market. So there is no car coming through. Just for walking people. Like in Lauterbrunnen, they sell local stuff. Yeah, for example, these milk bowls. Yeah, nice, or it's um, just starting, <laughs> the market is starting, so there are not too many people here and I will uh, make two parts of the video, one at the day and one during the night. As you can see there are also many many handmade things here. Huh? This is a Weberei. Yeah, and a handweberij from Hasliddal. Hmm? This is art from my favorite wood artist in Brienz. Look, Deutscher. <laughs> Rolf Blöchlinger. Look at his art. It's amazing. Huh? Yeah. It's in the typical handschrift. And I have one of this. I have this one and this one. Yeah, it's worthy. You are a great artist, thank you. <laughs> so if you are here, you need to buy one of these figures. Okay, promise? And you see, especially these figures, these are pa pa pepper mills and salt mills. For the soul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're always smiling when you eat your dinner or lunch. <laughs> these are yucks. Yeah, this is not a typical uh, prince animal. But they live here and I think <laughs> they are happy here as everyone who's living here in Brienz. And there are also little little yoks. Yokis quasi. <laughs> oh, but they have such a nice face, huh? Look more. A little bit different than the local cows. I guess this was Grandpa Jok. So smells of the bratwurst and other stuff to eat and to drink. I love that smell. Did you know that Brienz has the only violin production school in Switzerland or Europe, I don't know. We go in, okay? Yeah, now you know what I mean. Huh? Die hebben uiteindelijk nog de gitaar, die hebben uiteindelijk nog de gieken. Huh? They built violins. So this is now the room where they create Violins. Sabe them so we have to show them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a cello, but. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> sort of similar. Okay.
Machst du jetzt so da genau ein? <lacht> ich hoppe jetzt Holz für den Passwagen. Ah, okay. Ja, genau. Und der Abfall kommt dann ist meine. Ja. <lacht> <lacht> Good. I just made an appointment with uh, this guy here. <laughs> For, and we do a whole video about this school year, okay? Yeah. So now you see where the market is located. Yeah. This is the old part of Brienz. And far, far away, you can see the mountains. And you can, can hear the sound of the Korosil. So now we follow the sound of the carousel. You gotta check out where the other market houses are. Yeah, I guess at the Se Promenade we have some more. Let's go. This must be a real Christmas fan, huh? Yeah, I guess so. So the Brungas is in Christmas mood. There is no market here, but at least some Christmas decoration. Huh? Are doing now the the evening part of the Brienzer Christmas market. Yes. Yeah, they are ready for the Rabelichtli Umzug. Huh? This is when the children have the little candles and then just walk around in the village. It's very nice. So this is now the dark side of the Christmas market in Brienz. But I hope that we will see some lights. Huh? As you can see, it is a very popular Christmas market. Huh? Thank you. 